I'm Anthony Gethers. And I'm Greg Weiss. And, and we, we are, are the hosts of Case for Bass. What was the first bass that you actually purchased or your parents purchased for you? And in reference to that, when did you feel that you were actually going to do this for the rest of your life? Ibanez Roadstar 2. <gasps> uh -oh. Nice. That's right. um, because I couldn't afford a Spectre back then. Okay. <laughs> Uh, mm. this um, cameo, um, sting, and I forgot someone. There was oh, um, oh my gosh, bass player with um, Joe Bonamassa now. Because Sting uh, did play, Sting did play the Ivanis. He played that well, in the first two well, albums actually, of the Police. Yeah, he, no, he played. He played this. He had played the Ivanis. He went to Spectre. He played the Spectre. Spectre. Yep. The NS2. Yep. I remember him playing the Spectre. He used the Spectre in the, um, what tour was that? The Synchronicity tour back in 83. Right. Yep. So that, I remember yeah. that's when the, and it's so funny because um, I, I have always loved the fact that he had, he went from, he went from Defender, I think it was a Telecaster bass, then mm -hmm. he had a Fender Precision, then he played the Jazz. And then he ends up hitting the Spectre, and then he ends up hitting the um, the Steinberger for a little while. He did a Steinberger for a little bit, and um, that's when I, I hated the Steinberger because I just felt it just didn't have. Think about it. When Leo Fender created the bass, it was the shape of a woman. It had curves, like you can grab it. It just it just felt beautiful. Like to right. have to have a bass made with this with this alone by itself, it's like no tetas, no culo. You know, and then no waste. No, no, so, no body. No, 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 no body. body. 